Today, Integrated Media is here to interview someone special from the banking industry who has two decades of deep-rooted experience within the industry and has carved out a niche for himself. Welcome, Mr. Kalfavi, CEO of Ajman Bank. Thank you for joining the Integrator. Thank you for coming. Mr. Kalfavi, could you please tell me the journey of being CEO of Ajman Bank and what has has taken now over uh, through these years that you've been CEO? So I have been actually fortunate uh, to uh, be the CEO of Ajman Bank. Uh, you know, I have been started the journey in the banking sector with National Bank of Dubai with MSNBD. Uh, in the consumer side, then moved to first Gulf Bank, you know, in, uh, 16 years ago, maybe more, uh, in the corporate banking, wholesale banking, and I see with corporate and investment banking and FAB. I have seen the second merger as well. I've been fortunate to see two merger in the banking industry in the UAE. Uh, first was with uh, an NMSNBD and second was with FAB. Uh, so I uh, was as well before joining Ajman Bank. I know I was fortunate as well enough to be heading the global banking for the UAE and corporate investment banking and uh, FAB. Uh, so I have joined the bank, uh, seeing uh, the potential uh, which Ajman Bank has, and I have seen as well the eager of the shareholders, the uh, chairman, the vice chairman of Ajman Bank, and the entire boards. Uh, the support uh, being uh, shown was really phenomenal for any CEO who wants to lead an organization, uh, has the whole uh, tools of success and the requirements as well to take the bank to the next level. You have seen the entire economic landscape changing. So how do you see the current economic landscape in the banking industry and how do you see what changes are happening currently in the banking sector? We are, alhamdulillah, we are as well fortunate by being in the UAE, one of the uh, most resilient and growing economy in the world as well uh, today. Um, the UAE has always has strong track records um, in terms of the economy, in terms of the diversity between the economy. Um, we are in the United Arab Emirates, uh, has always uh, thinking 30 years ahead, 50 years ahead. We don't think, you know, on the next days because we're building a robust industry and economy for the generations to come. So with that, that I think the first and most important decisions the country has been taken, the economy is not to rely only on the oil. Mm. And diversifications was key always in our economy. And you can see today with the UAE GDP's composition uh, the oil uh, and gas contribution is around 20-25%. And the rest is diversifications between real estates, hospitality, uh, uh, trading. We are the hub between East, East and West. Uh, trading, of course, sector is very important. Industrials, uh, the uh, technologies now, the AIs, and so many other uh, composition, which is gives a very strong uh, way forwards to the economy in terms of diversification. Today's you know, can see as well the GTBs has been uh, revisited for the UAE, increased between f from 4.3 percent now it's expectation around 5.7 percent, whereby you see in other economies on other countries there's no growth at all, or maybe the growth is on the north of one percent or two percent. The region here in the GCC is quite, I would say, uh, ring-fenced to a certain extent from the geopolitical reasons and what's going on geopolitically as well, uh, because the, the, the direction is very clear uh, on the way forward. And the banking industry here in the UAE is considered as one of the most, uh, most robust industry globally and in the UAE and in the uh, GCC region as well. So I can see that the growth is coming. We have a lot of international events uh, is going on every year. There's mm -hmm. something else. And definitely the banking industry uh, benefiting from that. Uh, the increasing in terms of the populations of the UAE, uh, having as well an attractions of regional and international investors as well. Today, you could see any today, any issuance happening in the market uh, in terms of a Sukuk issuance or a listing as well, the IPO today, which is Dubai financial market and the Abu Dhabi stock exchange has seen for the last 24 months, 
phenomenal GREs has been listed uh, uh, from uh, either Abu Dhabi or Dubai markets as well. Um, has really real testament in the economy when we're seeing 50 and 60 percent over subscriptions. That shows as well the trust of the investors in the region and internationally in the economy of the UAE. Um, and that shows as well that how the UAE in general and uh, Abu Dhabi and Dubai and the rest of the Northern Emirates, um, how have been valued and been seen by the uh, regional investors. So a lot of <clears throat> events as well as a lot of changes happening in this part of the region. So could you tell me the concise overview of Ajman Bank's digital strategy, particularly regarding banking apps? And you recently saw the recently AMI payment gateway coming and uh, the efforts to encourage digital adoption for the consumers in the region. How do you see all that? Digitization and AI is uh, a revolution, you know, I would say, in, the, in our life mm -hmm. and definitely as well in our financial sector as well. Um, it's inevitable. It's coming. It's happening. Um, we have seen the, our governments today, things are being, uh, you apply on uh, any government-related request. You finish everything through your uh, mm -hmm. apps or mm -hmm. your phone. You don't have to go physically to finish your, your stuff. So definitely we have to take benefits of that. And the generation as well uh, of the UAE, uh, it's quite, we're a, quite a young country as well. And the whole world is innovative very fast. Mm -hmm. So you need to keep running and keep moving and keep updating as well uh, on that. So I see it's an opportunity as well. Uh, for banks, but also there is a risk mitigates over there mm -hmm. and challenges as well. Uh, opportunities because you can expand your client base, uh, you are, um, which is very important, uh, ease of services as well, and speed and service. Today you can open an account in a couple of minutes. Yes. You know, earlier it was be a few days or maybe mm -hmm. a week, you know, uh, 10 years ago or more. So this is a revolution itself. Today you finish all of you when sitting on a couch comfortably. Mm -hmm. You finish your uh, transfer in a you know in a in a glimpse you know or uh, less than a second. So these kind of things are very important. We have seen as well even our central bank of the UAE as a regulator, they have as well initiated a lot of uh, projects related to uh, digitization and mm -hmm. AI. Um, the digital banks as well have you have seen. Uh, we have around five digital banks predominantly here in the UAE, and they're doing a quite good job as well. Today, a traditional banks alone cannot sustain, and that's why a hybrid model is very important by having the digital uh, uh, digital uh, elements to it. In Ajman Bank, we have started the digital transformation more than seven or six months ago by, uh, of course, having uh, getting, uh, getting the uh, the talents and the right uh, people as well uh, within the country with the teams as well over here to take the uh, journey of digital transformation to the next level. This transformation will happen over time, mm. can't mm. happen overnight. Nice. It's a journey. Um, and when I say it, it is, uh, you know, um, challenges as well, our risk is mitigates over, the, uh, over there. We are an Ajman Bank. We have launched our uh, mobile app, Ajman Bank Connect, and doing a very phenomenal job. We have, uh, I think, 26% of uh, new accounts has been opened mm -hmm. in the last mm -hmm. quarter, has been through the mobile app and through the channels. Um, because, you know, we're having the KYC-related matters, the compliance-related matters, so it has things has to be as well updated, uh, you know, on, on time. Uh, so, um, without having a robust core system and information securities as well, uh, preventing you from any external threats or attacks as well, you know, to the banking sector, you might be exposed to a data breach. So therefore the privacy and the data privacies are very, very important. And this is helps as well through our digital transformation as well to take a full uh, focus and uh, responsibility of protecting the client's data and the da bank's data from any uh, you know, uh, prompt attacks. We have seen 
the financial sector in general in the region have been uh, into a few attacks in the last hmm. 12 months or so and they've been successfully you know uh, okay. mitigates the, those risks which is in line with the whole global if you see the global uh, you know attacks is already has been there so that's why we have a strong cyber securities are in place from the gov- governments from the central bank and as well within the banks uh, to be able to face uh, these potential you know threats in uh, in the in the future Thank <laughs> you.